correlation and regression. Uh, let's take a look at finding the linear regression equation. Uh, some books call it least squares regression equation. They call it least squares regression line. Um, somewhere in there you'll have the word regression and you'll either have an equation line. And hopefully they say linear, but some, some books don't. Okay. We're going to input these numbers into our calculator. This is a TI, what is this? TI30XS. Now I already have data in there, and it's actually the same data I'm going to input, but I want to show how to clean it out. So I'm going to press my data, and I got uh, items I want to delete. So you can press your delete over and over to clean them out, or you can press your data one more time, and you see how there's a clear L1? You can press enter on that, and that clears out L1. You can press data one more time, down arrow to clear L2, press enter, and that'll clear out your Y2. Okay, I'm a left arrow, put cursor on L1, and we're going to enter um, our X values, 1 through 7. So I do 1 enter, 2 enter, 3 enter, 4 enter, 5 enter, 6 enter, and 7 enter. <clears throat> then I want to right arrow over to L2, and I'll put in my Y values. So I got 12 and 31. So I got 12, 31, uh, 45 and 46. Fifty-one and fifty-five and seventy-three. Okay, so we're gonna exit out. So I do a second mode. Let me move my microphone here. There we go. Then I'm gonna do my second data to access stat. Now I we'll choose two var stats. So I'm gonna down arrow to it, press enter on it. And uh, we want L1 and L2 highlighted. If they're not highlighted, you uh, move, use your arrow keys, put your flashing cursor on whichever one you want, and you press enter. Also, if you put your numbers in a different list, that's how you do it. I'm going to down arrow to calc and press enter. Probably find it easier to do your up arrow to get to it. And we're looking for A and B. And there it is. Okay. Now the regression equation looks like this. Y hat is equal to AX plus B. So we're going to plug in A. A to two decimal places is uh, 8.46. So I got Y hat is equal to 8.46X plus B, which is 10.86. Um, and that'd be our regression equation. Now, if you're stopping there, uh, rounding two decimal places would be fine. If you're actually going on to um, to do some projections, then you'd want more decimal places. Uh, minimum, I'd say at least is five, but uh, reality is you'd want to put as many as you can. So put all of them in there. Okay, now that's, a, that's our um, least squares regression line. That's our uh, linear regression equation. Uh, a lot of different names for it. Let me show you how to do projections with a TA, TI30XS. Let's say we want to um, predict Y when X is equal to 30. Well, what we do is we put 30 in for the X and figure out what this is. Not too hard, but the calculator provides another way to do it. We can do Y prime 30, like this. And that'll do the same thing. It'll plug 30 in for the X. Okay, well, let's do that. So I'm going to do a second mode exit out. So I'm back here at my main screen. Okay, so now I'm going to do my second data. And uh, you notice we have our third option. You have this third option after you do second or two var stats. So I'm going to up arrow, choose stat variables, press enter. Do an up arrow. And uh, you'll see your Y prime. Once you get to that, then you press enter. And it puts the beginning parentheses, and then we're going to plug in the 30. And then I'll put a closing parentheses, though you don't need a closing one at the very end. And then press enter. So this is going to give us 264.79, rounded to two decimal places. 
Now this 30 right here is the X value and this would be our Y value. So this um, model is allowing us to do predictions on it. So very slick uh, way on the calculator. Now there, you get the same result if I put 30 in for the X here take 8.46 times 30 plus 10.86 it should give you this. Well you can also do predictions the other way. For example you can find uh, X prime of 5. And let's see what that gives us. Now I'll talk about what it means. Okay, so I'm going to do my second data to go into to the uh, statistics menu. I choose three for stat variables. Do an up arrow until I find my X prime. There it is. Press enter. It does the beginning parentheses for me, so I'll put a five in. And I'll put a closing parentheses, though you don't need it. And then press enter. <coughs> And we get negative 0 point, and I'll round it to two decimal places, 6, 9. Now here, what's inside the parentheses was our x. This time, what's inside of our parentheses, the 5, is our y. And this is giving us our x. This is going the other direction. This is saying that we're going to put 5 in for the y. So we have 5 is equal to 8.46x plus 10. 8, 6. And if we were to go through and solve this for x, it would give us negative 0.69. So again, it allows you to do predictions uh, either way. You can plug a number in for the x to see what it gives you the y, or you can plug a number in for the y to see what it gives you for your x. In this um, video, we um, took a look at uh, the linear regression equation on a TI-30XS multiview.